Hello again, YouTube. It is I, Spoot, telling you about Yu-Gi-Oh cards that aren't in Yu-Gi-Oh. How exciting is that? Uh, we're back with uh, War of the Visions for Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And we're going to be finishing up our vision card runs today with the R and two neutral vision cards. So we can go ahead and crank these out and you can make whatever judgment on them you'd like. Uh, so we're actually going to be starting with these uh, slightly different than the rest of them. Um, I'm gonna, let me filter these out real quick. Um, we're going to be doing these according to um, where they show up on ranking lists, just because it'll be a little easier. All right, so first up, uh, so there are two sets of rares. You have locations and you have flags. So um, do with that information as you will. It's usually main castles and, you know, the country's flags, so not a huge deal in any direction. So Horn Castle. This is actually a pretty good card. Um, a lot of people uh, don't have something that gives you... So uh, let's... You'll, you'll get it when I explain it. So at max to level, um, you get... Uh, HP, so it starts at 16, 23, 12. Okay, that's not good. Whatever. That's It's an R card. I don't know what you're expecting, but here we are. So at max value, you're looking at 134, 92, 51. Okay, that's a lot of attack for a card. Now here's the crazy thing. So the bestowed effects are plus 10% attack, minus 10% luck. The luck stays where it is. The attack goes up to 30 that's a lot. The party ability goes from 2% or plus 2 slash res to plus 4 slash res at max. So right off the rip you get 30% attack and you are slightly more defensive against the most used attack type in the game. All of these things are pretty sweet, right? So the card gives you 92 attack. At max level you get 30%. So you're looking at 30.8 or 30.7, which doesn't matter because they don't carry over decimals. So you're looking at 30 attack points. So just the card itself is 122 attack. That's by itself. That's if your character has no attack, that is what they get. So this usable card is very usable. It is, I keep saying the word usable, and that's it's sort of appropriate. But so here's the thing about it. If you really need to crank somebody's attack up, like, uh, I can't really think of a good example, but it's, if you can't get, like, Echoing Screams or any of the cards that give you percentage attack, so, like, this would, if you were just trying to Blitz DPS, this would work well with the percentage attack for party ability, just because you would be cranking it to almost 50%, if not a little higher, uh, right at, I think, 47, 48, so... 50% attack on not only this unit, but adding it to a bonus is pretty good. So you could make somebody's attack rating through the roof with this card. Next card up is the Crystal Church Flag. Flag of the Crystal Sanctum. This is this is big old butt boy over here. Ugh, boy, we ain't a big fan of him. Um... This is, again, one of those accuracy niche cards. So it's usable to a point, and that's pretty much it. So let's go over it. Uh, starting effects. Starting stat values, excuse me, are 24, 5, 21. All right, it's, a, it's an HP mag card. We got it. Uh, max values are 196, 20, 87. Pretty good. Not too terrible. Um, it's definitely something to be looked at, but here is where it sort of jumps. So the bestowed effect starts at 8 accuracy up to a max of 25. That's a lot of accuracy. So once, if you are having issues with evasion meta, you can slap this on pretty much whoever you want and just guaranteed hits if you're not running characters that have like Holy or the Gunner, like Frederica has a guaranteed hit, stuff like that. Um, the party ability is accuracy up 3, maxes out at 6. Again, it's good. It's... Accuracy is something that eventually you will not really be able to sneeze at because eventually you will be running into creatures, not not just PvP, that have evasion statuses, which is scary. If you can't hit them, what are you going to do about it? 
So, decent enough card. Uh, and here's the last, like, kind of really good one, I guess, is the Flag of Fess. And you're going to look at me and go, this isn't that good. I agree. I'm, I'm not... We don't have to fight over this one. Um, but in the ranking terms, this is third out of the rares. So you start out at 32, 13, 7, meh. Uh, here's, here's kind of the tip. So you get 257 HP out of it. You get 52 attack, you get 29 mag. So if you really have to get somebody up with HP, and you don't have any of the bigger slap cards, like the ones that give you, you know, significantly more HP, like the three and four hundreds, um, this one's okay. The max HP is the party ability, starts at four, maxes at eight. That's not really going to make or break a whole lot of characters, but if you don't have anything else and your party ability isn't better than this and you can max this out, it's the same thing we've been saying since we've gotten down to the SR cards. It's fine. It's not the best card in the world, but they're very cheap to upgrade and max, so if you can't get a UR or an SSR card, or excuse me, a UR or an MR card that sort of match up those numbers, at the very least you have the opportunity. You can find something that does it. We got the Wazette flag. Where are you? I believe that's you. Flag of Wazette. Our good old boy Curry. Um I don't I don't know what to tell you about this one. Um so we'll do stats. So HP on it's pretty decent. So it starts at 29, 12, 10. And then it maxes at 234, 48, and 43. That's decent. It's a it's a pretty good chunk of HP. The bestowed effect is Toad Res. 8 goes up to 25. So I guess if you run against something that turns you into a frog, like you did it. You have 25 res to it, so that's good. Um, party ability here is actually interesting. So the evocation gauge boost means how fast does your summon charge happen? Um, it starts at 10, and it maxes out at 30. So at max, you would be, on average, using your summon two to three turns earlier, depending on what summon it is. Uh, obviously, the lower rank summons are a little faster because they don't require as much gauge. But um, I don't know if they're going to be introducing any summoners or anything like that in the game, but this may end up seeing a resurgence of use once it actually gets, you know, looked at. So it's not the worst thing, but definitely possibly something to look at in the future. Flag of Leonis. Um, this one's all right. It's kind of middling across the board, so 21, 20, 10. Yeah, all right, whatever. Max is out at 173, 80, 43. So usable HP, decent attack. Mag is whatever. Um, stop res uh, starts at 8, goes up to 25. That's the bestowed effect. That can be useful when we see a couple more time mage characters. Um, like we have Phoebe and um, Katone out now. There's, there's a couple of other usables, but they're not... Fantastic. So the that, that's kind of the issue is like all of the characters that you would want to have stop res on, you're not really concerned about it because stop isn't exactly a threat currently. So more of a stat stick than anything. The party ability is attack up five percent, maxes out at ten. This is okay if you don't have a better use. I keep saying that. I'm just going to keep saying that because I don't want anybody to go. You said this R card was a dick said if you didn't have um it's okay it's not great we've got feneth castle which i will actually have to try to remember i believe it's snake boy yeah we did it fennis castle um man i wish i could give you guys better cards so the stats on this are 29 12 10 you know, your, your opening stats are always going to be very, very mediocre on anything lower than an MR. But the max out is, the HP is okay. So it's max is at 234, 48, 43. Kind of a hybrid card. The stats don't get too high. That's a decent chunk of HP. That can, that can be the difference between dying to a crit or not. But that's whatever. Uh, bestowed effect, single effect. Just dexterity 6 up to 18. Um, 
That's actually okay. That That's a lot of decks for just a card. You're not... You should never really use this card, but that's not bad. Party ability is uh, Strike Resist, which is uh, Monks, Fist Attack, stuff like that. Um, goes from two to four. You're... Don't. Don't do Don't do this. Please don't do this. Don't do this to me. I, we're, we're friends. I thought we were friends. All right, we got the church coming up next. Oh, no, that's was that castle. Where's the church? Here you are. Dynverk Cathedral. This is the Crystal Sanctum Church. Um, this is... Interesting? I guess. Oh, wait a second. Either the wiki has this one... Okay, so the stats are the same. The... Huh! So in JP, and I don't know if somebody just copy-pasted it, it says that the stats on this one are dark resistance and fire attack resistance, which is obviously not the case. Uh, so Ultima uh, might need to... That one might need to get edited. Um, I actually, I'll, I'll put one in for that. Uh, we'll do it after the video. Um, so stat-wise, it starts 17, 16, 18. Meh. Um, max stats are 142, 64, 73. Stat-wise, it's okay. Um, obviously on the card, it is blind resistance. This goes up to 25, and like the rest of the party abilities, if it's with attack res, it goes from plus 2 to plus 4. Missile attack res plus 4 isn't terrible on PvP, but hopefully you have some better options. Blind res is literally whatever. Like, you're, ne you're never going to look at that and go, man, I wish this person would stop blinding me. We need the flag of Horn, which I believe is the bull. Yeah, we did it. So um, this one's pretty much, this one's got a lot of HP on it, and that's about it, but we've been seeing that a lot in these. So you've got 37, 8, 7, meh. Uh, max values are 296, 32, 29. So your Attack and mag stats never get very high on this one, but the HP is okay. Um, Berserk res plus eight that goes up to, uh, I would assume twenty or twenty-five. They don't have it on Ultima either. Dex three percent goes up to either six or eight. It's, it's whatever. Like if you get this far down on your cards, I'm I'm really sorry. Uh, and that is pretty much all of the rares so we've got two neutrals which are they have no stats on them they have no boosts on them uh that are on the stat pages on the tier pages so we can show them to you um so it's 24 5 4 dex 10 mag 5 percent uh i can awakening it and tell you how far it goes Oh man, the party ability doesn't even go up. That's crazy. I don't even want to do this. How many does that take? Seven, not fifteen. That makes sense. So, at max level, I would imagine these go up to ten. Uh, and dex would go up to probably fifteen to eighteen. Um, they're not... They're not good. So you've got far-reaching mirror and uh, long-distance communication device heaven. Um, don't use these, please. Um, Ultima, like these are so unpopular that nobody has done anything about their stats on either of the tier lists. So, I mean, they're cool. They're like some neat items in lore, I guess. So it's interesting at the very least, but there's pretty much nothing else going on. So that is your uh, rare to neutral vision cards. So just to kind of go over them again, the ones you're looking for are Horn Castle, which is probably the best use of all of these. You've got a really high attack percentage and slash attack res, which is universally usable. You've got Crystal Sanctum Flag, which gives you a ton of accuracy and some okay stats. And then you've got, what was the third one? 
It wasn't Toad Res. I think it was Moraga. Yeah, so you've got Dex and Stike, Strike Res, and then you've got uh, the Flag, which gives you uh, max HP and a decent clip. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, Leona's Castle. Oh, this one didn't pop up. Oh, that's crazy. Hold on. I thought we were missing one. This one's actually really good. So let's, yeah, let's talk about this one. Holy shit. I thought I was missing one. It didn't pop up on the regular. All right, so this is probably the most useful, so I guess we'll say we saved it for last. Um, so stat-wise, not amazing. So it starts 35, 12, 5, maxes out at 280, 48, 21. Stats are very mediocre. Um, this is one of those rare cards where the bestowed effect, the secondary ability goes up as well. So they both start at 5 and they max at 15. Um, that's okay for defense. The critical hit rate goes up from 3 to 6. So it's not fantastic, but if you don't have another crit rate card and you're trying to like max out you know, Yerma or Stern or Sid, who you really want to be critting all the time, it's not an awful party ability to have. Now, the one thing about party abilities that we haven't really gone over is that you can't stack them. So you can't put two crit rate crit hit rates up and expect both of them to stack. So you would use the higher of the two, obviously. So you probably have one. So Leona's Castle is good, but it's not great. Um, and there, you have your surprise best, best rare card by a mile. And that is it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us which of your favorites are here. Um, if I were just going on art... Uh, I actually really like the, the I really like the Crystal Castle. The cathedral looks really cool. And then I actually really like the way they have like the guardian animals uh, sort of you know layered over the castles. You've got like the lions of Leonis, the bulls of Horn, Horn bulls, bullhorn. Ah, we did it. We absolutely did it. You've got the snakes of Fennis. And a lot of these things sort of, like, dig into characters and, uh, you know, kind of gives you a little more. You've got the ice wolves of Wizette. So, I don't know. There's some cool shit there. So, all right. You guys keep it up, and we'll go ahead, and uh, I'm going to start the character overviews after this. So we'll probably start with uh, Sid and Ramza, since those are the hottest off the uh, track, and everybody's trying to focus them right then. And then I'm going to swap over to the neutrals at uh, Zazen and go our way up there. So, all right, boys, y'all have a good one, and uh, don't get miserable.